Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So digging in, King Tejada looking to bring his hitting streak up to 30 games. Maybe some added pressure on him right here. Swung on, belted. That one back. Booyah! He sends it out of here. His 19th home run of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. Pitchers are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt, but unfortunately on that one, he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location, but it was just a better swing. Back here at the ballpark, and stepping in is the speedy King Tejada. The pitch. That one hooked foul. You know, these Braves doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Hey, let's go, big fella. The 0 2. And now one and two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Myers throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first hit back. Going to count 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes. Let it rip right here. And here it comes. Bounce to the right side. Rogers slings to first, and Albies is retired. Now batting, center fielder, Michael. So up next, Michael Harris. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists but you look at the numbers and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots and strike two well I think it's the ability to assess the situation understanding what the pitcher has what he's trying to get people out on and then being able to use the entire field one and two here and that one is lifted in the air Alvarez in position makes the grab and there's two gone. Up next for Atlanta, the designated hitter. And now the DH, Vaughn Grissom, Grissom. one for two. Hey, get your pitch and drive it. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Tejada on third with two out. Just off the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Braves strand one, but they still lead it 3-1. And now Nick Plummer grounded out his first time up. Plummer. 
kicks and fires. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw on to Olsen. Third out, and that ends the frame. One, two, three, go the Astros. Score holds, it's 3-1. Two outs, runner at first. Now, King Tejada. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Hey, let it fly, let it fly, right here. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two now away. Back. And his hot hitting reason. continues. Well, they kept him in the yard that time, Obvi. but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Right, come on now, one time, let it fly. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, hey, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Kicks and deals. Pulls that one foul. And now it's three and two. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Yency Almonte throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Right-hander kicks deals. Hit hard, that gets through. Here comes Olsen around third. Now a long throw home. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 6-1. Picks himself up in RBI. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now it's going to be Michael Harris. And a pitch. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two and one now. Three balls, one strike. Right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. That one ripped. Plummer going back. Back some more to the warning track. Makes the catch. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs. Five innings complete. Braves six, and the Astros one. And next to hit for Houston, Jake Myers. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. McCormick at second. Rogers at first with no outs. Hit on the ground, might be two. The throw to second. Over to first, double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Bottom of the eighth. Now in for the Braves. King Tejada. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Tarnock back to work. That one way outside, and that's ball one. way high when you get ahead in the count there's no doubt that the success rate goes up and that's what he's been doing it's made a big impact for him in recent games swing and a pop-up foul territory for the catcher Perez makes the grab one down that was a good pitch to hit right down the 
With this win here today, you've won the first two games of this three-game series, so you would think the work is done, but when you're at home, I don't believe so. you got to come back with a mindset for game three that you want to win it, and you're going to go out and do everything that it takes. You win like that at home. You position yourself for good things down the stretch. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire